quite a few of the younger musicians, much younger than me, uh, has been the legacy of Machito. In fact, Machito's band has come a uh, few times. Uh, in fact, this is the first national memorial concert for Machito was held in 1988. After that, Mario Grillo, his son, has become a personal friend of ours, uh, uh, along with Herman Alivera and some other individuals. But you had some personal history in the early days with Machito and Mario Bowser. The two... I know him personally, yeah. Yeah, and can you tell us about that? Because... No, no, uh, not too much, I'll tell you what. I knew him to say hello and goodbye. I knew they knew me because we're in a music circle that we know each other. I never worked with Machito. I never worked with Mario Bowser, um, but Mario was a very fine cello player, and he, um, I had, I have a lot of respect uh, for his cello playing, you know. But um, that's about it, right there. Well, having seen them at that point, what would be your reflections on their importance to Latin music? What they did, they um, they brought that music up here. <clears throat> When they came up from South and up to New York, there wasn't too much to hang on to. They had their music to hang on to. And a lot of the people that came up from Puerto Rico and from Cuba, they had nothing to hang on to but the music. And their world revolved around music. And then everything else help, happens. But music was like a focal point for everybody. They could understand each other through music.